So we are going into the heart of EDC magic. I have joined a Facebook group all about EDC magic and EDC magicians and each of their EDC tricks every day carry, they always carry one prop that is in this classification, a wallet. In this video guys, I'm going to show you a magic wallet review. Get ready for the links 2.0. So that's the Lynx 2.0. It is a magic wallet, a utility wallet with lots of different features, which is created by G Magic and Goncalo Gil. Hill. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. I apologize. And it's worth $99.95 in Vanishing Ink, or you can check it out in your Magic Retailer. Now, what you get with $99.95 is you get a very elegant black box with some silver silver lettering all over it and when you open it there you will get the wallet itself the Lynx wallet I really like the unboxing experience of this wallet the presentation is good it's very elegant when you open it it has a very simplistic look to it but I thought that was it I see the video link and then I see the password that's cool and then when I pulled it off I said oh this is nice it has a small little kit under it guys give me cards some envelopes extra envelopes you have some different different like card stocks and all of those it's really well laid out that when you open it you get a full kit and i really enjoyed that the durability of the product this is my second point when it comes to my three point review it, it's pretty durable i tried stretching it. it it still stays the stitching will stay like that and it is one of those things that you that can last you a while if you take care of it all right of obviously if you use a cutter to cut all over it it will break it will open up and all those bits and pieces now aside from the wallet itself i just mentioned it comes with gimmick cards some envelopes and some paper different card sucks all those different pieces if you use the wallet with those products paper is not something that really will last long in the long run so the cards the gimme cards that are here are more fragile than how they are in regular playing cards so if a regular playing cards withers and wars wears down in your wallet this one will be worn out twice as fast all right they're very nice they're very elegant looking the envelopes are really cool I went into the website, I searched for the questions, and indeed, one of the questions has already been raised about refills of the different playing cards. Unfortunately, the company, they don't have any refills in general. So otherwise, the wallet is well built. You can use it for an everyday carry. Let me tell you about the video instruction. Of course, as I mentioned, you get a link, and then you're going to get the password, and you put it in, and then, of course, you'll get a series of videos that will explain the features, that will explain the tricks, and the principles behind the wallet. I don't really have any problem with the instructions, the audio what my problem is when it comes to the video is actually their choice of the colors being used in the video itself as you can see the wallet is black the interior is black the envelope that they're going to use is black and the guy who is instructing it is wearing something black or something that is dark colored so when he says okay I'm going to insert the envelope here in the bifold right here I don't see anything no one sees anything you cannot see him put it properly I was waiting for some sort of diagram to be place but I can't see anything during the time that I watch the videos yeah those, those are my only gripes when it comes to the video itself I haven't have links 1.0 so I cannot compare the two I can only compare what this is to what I'm already using I'm using the Andar wallet it's not a magic wallet it's just a very modern wallet that I use and it's more compact it's smaller it's minimalist and I really like it when it comes to this wallet the first impression that I've seen is that this wallet it's the biggest wallet that I have ever seen and used. All right, it's as big as a hamburger. It doesn't have a very modern look. It has a bifold. So I know, I appreciate that they have improved the wallet. They have added more features, but they did not update or they did not make it look like a more modern wallet or more modern feel. If you're like someone who wants the classic look, that will be for you. But even I have classic wallets here as well. And the Lynx wallet envelopes all of them because it's so big and that really is a turn off for me although yes you have lots of things going on for it. you have lots of different utility moves but if the way you carry it is like a purse the way you carry it is like a little like a little notebook i rather just keep it at home so do i recommend this product 
Well, if you're more of a classic wallet type of guy, you're someone who uses an old wallet, a bifold wallet, those leather nice wallets, then the Lynx 2.0 is just for you. It's very nice. I recommend you having that. But if you're someone like me who goes for a more modern look, a wallet that carries credit cards, a wallet that is so small that it's very easy to put in your pocket, or any of those that has a modern look, a modern design, modern features, then the Lynx wallet is not for you. All right, it's not for me. Anyway, guys, that is an EDC wallet, a magic wallet, and yep, that's that's the Lynx 2.0. I I really enjoyed reviewing this one, trying to find the different features and all of that. Now, are you a classic wallet kind of guy, or are you a modern type of wallet kind of guy, or do you do, do you even own a wallet? Do you even use a wallet, or do you just carry your bills a gangster style, or just carry your credit card millionaire? Style? style without a wallet or so. Do you guys do that? Comment below. I would really like to know. Okay, until next time.